going on? Trip from TripAdvice.com and I have a very special video for you today. Something I'm doing that's completely new. It is a guest video from Stefan Erdman. Maybe you've heard of him. He is the creator of, let me read here because he's the creator of so much stuff. Uh, Pimp Your Lingo, Advanced Conversation Skills for Men, Approach at Will, Six Week Double Your Confidence Challenge, 57 Ultimate Confidence Methods, and he also does a ton of personal coaching. And uh, he's from the two sites, Too Shy for Dating and AuthenticGame.com. And of course, that's why I like him, because he teaches authentic methods of attraction and meeting women. So for you here today, we're going to just have him give you some great tips, some great information on how to connect with women. And you know in a lot of my videos that I talk a lot about how connecting to women is very important, and he gives really cool practical information on how to do that. So I'm going to let him have the floor in just a second. If you want to find out more about how to connect with him or his YouTube channel, which is awesome, and all of his programs, just go in the description below this video and you're going to find all of his links. And I highly suggest you subscribe to his channel because he's talking about really mind-blowing stuff that's going to help you with meeting and attracting beautiful women. So without further ado, here is Stefan Erdman teaching you how to connect with women. Hey, my name is Stefan Erdmann. Thanks very much for the introduction, Trip. I really appreciate this idea that you've had about getting this together and doing a few videos together. Um, I think we're going to find other ways of collaborating. And, you know, by the way, everybody, Trip really knows what he's doing. So, you know, this is a great channel and uh, I hope you learn a lot from him right now. Now, today we want to talk about conversation techniques or techniques that help you to connect with women in conversation. And I'm going to be talking about first why connecting with somebody is so important. It is the absolute platform for everything else. Secondly, we're going to be talking about what to do to actually connect with a girl. Um, how to do that exactly we're going to be talking about as well. I'm going to give you a number of examples. And then I'm going to show you as well what to do next if you want to learn more about connecting, flirting, attracting and all of these things that you can do in conversation. Now one of the key things that I wanted to tell you briefly is that things can change massively. If you are currently not confident at all talking to girls then that can really change. I'm a good example. A few years back I was probably the shyest guy you could ever imagine. Okay, I could not start a conversation with anybody. I would freeze up in any conversation. So I'm trying to show you that this can really massively change and if you are at the stage where you feel like oh, conversations with women are just freaking you out, don't worry, that can change. You just need to know how. This video hopefully will be one step in the right direction. I'm sure that Trip's helping you massively as well with all of these things. Well, connection basically is the platform on which everything else rests. If you want to be able to flirt with a girl, you need to be connected with her. If you want to be able to tease a girl, you need to be connected with her first. Otherwise, it's not going to work. If you want to seduce a girl in a conversation, you need to first have a connection with her. If, you don't, if she doesn't feel connected with you, if you don't feel connected with her, first of all, you're not going to be very comfortable doing it. Secondly, she's not going to want to be seduced by you and what you're doing will come across as harassment rather than seduction. Does that make sense? So being connected and that sense of being connected and, and, and some people call it rapport as well, you can call it that, is such a crucial platform that everything else builds on. So you need to be great at getting a girl to feel connected with you. So what do you need to do to get a girl to feel connected with you and feel connected with her at the same time? Well, to start off with, let's clarify the principle that's underlying this. Imagine you're going to a party and there's two people there only, all right? funny party, right? But let's imagine there's a party with two people and the rest are coming later. Now, one of the guys that you are seeing there, he doesn't look like you, he doesn't sound like you, he doesn't even smell like you, and he doesn't even speak the same language, frankly. He also doesn't seem to behave like you, all right? So he's over there. You look at the other guy and he looks like you, he sounds like you, he smells like you, 
he behaves a bit like you, and he kind of just reminds you of you. Now, which of these guys are you instinctively going to feel more connected with instantly? Obvious answer, right? That guy that looks like you, that smells like you, that is just like you. Why? Because, of course, you know, we are connected or feel connected easily to people who are like us, right? So that's the principle. People that we have a lot with in common with, they are the ones that we connect with the easiest, okay? That's the principle. So like connects with like. Makes sense, right? I mean, that's not mind-blowing news, is it? We all know that. I just wanted to point it out. Now, there are all kinds of techniques to make people feel connected with you that involve body language, that involve uh, your voice tone, that invo involve your face and all of that. They're called matching and mirroring and things like that. You've probably heard of it, right? But you probably haven't heard about language matching. And that's what I'm going to be sharing here with you in this video. Language matching. Because the principle can also be applied to language, to the words you're using. And when you use it in this way, it's a very subtle but very, very powerful way to make a girl feel connected with you without even knowing how it's happening. She'll just be like, wow, I don't know, I, this guy gets me. And I trust this guy, I don't know why. And she'll interpret it as ease, as comfort, as trust, as connection. And that's when you're in, okay? And that's when you can build the rest on top. So, how do you use language matching? Well, basically what it means is you're using similar words to the words that she's using. In other words, you might even use some of her phrases that she's using. You might use her key words that she's saying, uh, that she's using maybe frequently. You might want to choose words that um, she seems to be emotionally invested in specifically because those are the words that are really key to her. And when you're using the same words back to her, all of a sudden she's like, wow, this guy, he just sounds like me. I mean, he's just like me in some weird kind of way, all right? Now, remember, I'm not trying to get you to become like her or like to you know, turn into a girl or anything like that, but um, so it's a very subtle process. I still want you to stay you and all of that. And this is only what we're focusing on is now connection, okay? Not flirting, not breaking rapport, not messing with her and all of that stuff, right? So. I just want to focus on connection here because if you can do that, you can also break it. All right? Makes sense? So how do you do this? Let's give you an example. You are both, uh, I don't know, looking at a sunset together, right? And she's standing there and she's going, wow, what a beautiful sunset. Rather than going, yeah, it's quite cool. You might go, it is beautiful. And look at that stuff over there. That's fantastic. I mean, but the lighting over there, that's, that's even more beautiful. You're using her word beautiful twice in your oncoming sentences, right? How does she feel when she hears those words back? Now, first of all, she's just heard that you're really listening to her and that makes her feel connected. And then you're using similar language and especially a key emotional word for her, which was beautiful. Yeah, descriptors can be very emotional to people and very personal. And she's using that back. So at that moment, you're, you're really creating a, a deeper connection without really doing anything overt. You're just giving her that sense of, yeah, this guy gets me. Yeah, and that's creating a connection. Let's say you're talking to a girl in a shopping mall and you just started the conversation with her and you're like, hey, how are you doing? And she's like, I'm fine. Um, how are you? And you might say, fine, as always, and very happy to meet you here. Um, what's your name? Uh, and she goes, well, I'm Sarah, and uh, why are you asking me? Um, uh, and you might go, um, Sarah, well, great. I wanted to meet a Sarah today, and I thought you, you, you look attractive enough for me to talk to, so that's why I'm here. I wanted to talk to you and, and uh, see what you're up to here today, because I'm slightly bored. 
what are you up to here today? And she might be going, well, I'm here to, to go some shopping with my sister. Shopping with sisters, wow. What a beautiful thing, you know. I don't know what I'm saying now, but, but you pick up the things you, she's saying and you take it forward from that. Now, that's how you can build a connection with somebody very quickly. Because when they hear their own words back from you, it accomplishes a lot of great things. As I said already, they feel the connection, they feel that you are listening, they feel that you're using the things that they're saying, and because they're invested in what they're saying, they're not really thinking, oh, he's repeating everything um, that I'm saying, or something like that. I've tried this so many times, and women never, never think that I'm somehow using a technique or anything like that. Because of course you don't want to be like, oh, I'm using a technique here on you or something like that, right? Of course you don't do it all the time, but when you do it, especially at the beginning, it really, really helps. It also helps you to listen really well because it focuses you to um, listen and uh, pick up some of the keywords. And it just makes you instantly feel connected. And that's how you do it. You pick up things that she's saying. So this is a good use for the word pick up. Um, you pick up things that she's saying, something that's really important in her sentence. Maybe there's a key word that you're hearing sticking out. You're just using her language back. You're matching your language with her language. And at the same time, you could be playful with that. And I can't get into this in this video, but I'm just going to give you some straight, I've given you some straight examples here. But you can also be playful with that and still use her words. You can be teasing her like crazy and still use her words and it makes it impossible for women to resist because, hey, you're using their words. So language matching, that's how you start to build a strong connection with a girl without even doing anything else. Now, that was one technique that I could teach you about this topic. Now, there are, of course, many other elements to successful conversations with women and being able to attract and seduce women in conversation, which are to do with flirting, with banter, with seduction, with attraction, with building trust, which we have to a degree uh, covered with this technique. But of course, there's many different ways of doing this as well. And I explain all of those in my Pibilingo program, of course, which you may have heard about. But I don't even want to ask you to, to check that out right now. I want you to just get my free video series. Go to pimpyolingo.com. You get a free video series. The first video is about the three biggest myths about talking to girls. And there are already thousands of comments, basically, literally thousands of comments uh, of guys who are like, wow, this is great, give me more. And then on the next video, you'll get my Pimpyolingo report. Check that out because that will give you two specific techniques that will take this principle I've just talked about and give you techniques to flirt and to connect further. Um, great techniques that I can recommend you use and you know those alone can basically sort out your problems if you have problems with conversations with women. There are more videos there in that series so check it out they're really great. There's definitely a link here under the video so go to that link click there below and check out those four videos and the special report that you're getting there with these techniques inside. All right, it's been a pleasure talking to you today on Trip's channel. Um, I really appreciate you listening. Let us know your stories here below because, hey, we might be able to help you with something. And especially the first few days, I'm sure Trip and myself, we always look at the channel uh, comments on the new video because sometimes we're able to help out, right? Or we get ideas for new videos, which is fantastic. So, Thanks for listening. I hope to see you maybe on my channel as well. Check it out and follow the link here under the video. It will be a pleasure to help you further with stuff if you want to learn more from me. See you later. My name is Stefan Erdmann. Take care.